hi guys how have you been i came back home and i have been struggling to snap back to my schedule so i i like i, I love to travel i'm one person that really loves to travel and i love to go to new places and all these things but now i am also someone that easily gets thrown out of the routine and sometimes it's it's a struggle to snap back to my routine anyway so i came back home and and then everything everything that i planned has somehow just been all over the place and not really just, like just falling in place and that has really put me down the past few days and i have also been struggling with something something that happened that i am not ready to talk about anyway that said i started something i started journaling my mother-in-law gave me a gift of this book and i had stored it somewhere i saw a lot of notebooks who else stores a lot of notebooks for no apparent reason and pens i collect pens and notebooks not this type just different types of pens i hadn't seen this in a while so i was like hmm, wouldn't hard to keep this anyway so uh i started journaling just to try and keep myself in check and i'd really propose journaling to anyone that is struggling with their um, with their with their routine or with with something and they just want to see good in their day so i started journaling and basically every single day i try to i try to uh, write one what i am grateful for and then the to-do list for the following day and i that has really helped me immensely in just like uh, maintaining positive vibes around me um just getting myself in check so that i don't sleep in the whole day because maybe the work i have is not that much or just to keep me in check really yeah so journaling journaling is something i would highly recommend to anyone in whatever stage of their life just try to journal it will show you what you're grateful for and give you the strength to just get by your other days the other thing is um when when you journal you can try to include uh things that you've wanted to do for a very long time that you haven't been able to so one of the things i try to include in mine as i had said in a previous video is that i wasn't reading the bible that much so at least it is hard it is hard at least i've tried to include um that as a task for the day and i will not say i'm proud of myself yet but i realize it's quite helpful it's quite helpful and there's also this uh app that app for the bible that tends to bring daily bible verses can you imagine i find to read even that am i the only one who struggles with reading soft copy bible i don't know anyway that said journaling is the best thing that has been happening to me in these past few days the other reason i thought to hop in here is to give you a life saving tip guys ah so i saw i saw this i saw this brand online let me see something that shows it correctly i saw this brand online astonish i saw this brand online on 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 a recommended video and i since i moved to this house i have been struggling with cleaning my oven it was new so it started staining and staining and i was oh, i was stressed i soaked it with vinegar and um and baking baking powder and that didn't even work i tried to scrub it and even like i didn't want to scrub it that much and then make it have those marks so what did i do i thought to take a chance on this brand and when we we traveled 
I bought this. I bought three of this. I didn't know which one would work. So I saw they had like I think they have more more than this, like more more products than this ones. But I only got this two and this one. Yes? So here's what happened. One of them is a uh, extra strength green grease lifter. And the other one is uh, stainless steel and shine. So I got the both of them. And when we got home, this is the one I used. Uh, extra strength grease uh, lifter. Guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is unsponsored. So this should tell you that I am giving an honest review. And don't worry. I was skeptic as you might be. So I didn't even take the before video of my oven before I cleaned it. Ah, I wish I did. I, I really wish I did. Because the results after, and I didn't even use much. It's still full. I only sprayed like just a bit of this all over the oven. And this, um, there's this antibacterial oven and grill specialist cleaner and sponge it came inside with a sponge this is how it looks inside i have not used it yet but this is how this is how it came with this sponge so when i sprayed this on the oven i used this to clean like i just cleaned it and this is not like the one you wash dishes with it's it's just the sponge and then this is this is soft this is not this is not rough in a way that it leaves marks. I don't know what they've made this with. I wish I knew what to compare it with, but this is soft. Just check out the brand. Just check out the brand. This is this is real stuff. It cleaned the oven to a point that that it was super shiny and it cleaned it in a way that it looks like I just brought it home from the shop. I am so happy. I am so happy. I bought this. Um, I went to Hot Point. Hot Point, sorry, Center Westlands. They had this. I don't know if this is an offer because the price, the price seemed quite fair. This one was going for 439 shillings. This one was going for 459 shillings. And this one went for 699 shillings. So are you telling me hmm, for less than 1500 Kenya shillings I can be able to stress freely clean my oven and I know this will last me for months come on I used just a small bit and of just this one and I have this one and this one so can you imagine like are you telling me that I can stress free like I can clean stress free ah, for months with these products guys go we'll check them out anyway that said i am happy i could hop in here and chat with you a little bit i will be posting more videos hopefully more educative things and i hope you check out the things i recommend to you because because man I am only recommending what makes my life easy. I do not like stress. Other than that, I wish you all the best. I wish you a lovely, lovely weekend. I am shooting this on a Friday and it will probably go out today. I wish you a lovely weekend. I hope you take care of yourselves. Maintain a positive vibe. Take care of your yourself. Like really, I mean that. Take care of yourself. Maintain positive vibes, love on the people that are near, uh, are around you, people that you live with, people that you stay with. Love on those ones, spread love, uh, be the best version of yourself, and mwah, mwah, mwah. see you soon on another video. Ciao.